welcome to another video of Walk on the Wild Side and I'm here in Blackpool. I am on the promenade here. It's around about quarter to ten in the evening. I'm just in front of the tower and this is where my live stream from Saturday night left off. So if you watch the live stream, I'm kind of just carrying on from there. What I thought I'd do is we'd do a little video around the town centre. We'd have a look. It's Rebellion Day 3 and we see what's going on with the punks, we see how many... It's a Saturday night, so it should be the busiest night of the festival. So we'll have a look around the town centre and we'll see what it's like in Blackpool on a Saturday night, August the 5th. Check this out, we're right underneath the famous Blackpool Tower here. Saturday night in Blackpool, we're on the comedy carpet here. This is the comedy carpet, I'll just show you around. There's not that many people on it at the moment. It can get very, very busy on here on some nights and they do hold events on the comedy carpet. We've just had the sunset as well. If you saw the live stream, you'll know what I mean, but just look over there, folks, look at that colour. The on the North Pier looks amazing, doesn't it? I can hear music coming from over there. I think it's coming from the beach house. You know the beach house over there? The, that building there, next to the wedding chapel. It's uh, some really loud music coming from over there. Oh, look at this, we've got loads of, oh! It's a bit lawless in Blackpool tonight. We've got motorcycles racing down the tram tracks. Oh, that is a bit naughty, isn't it? What do you think, Fox? Anyway, let's head into town. This is Blackpool's latest amusements, the Blackpool Amusements. I wonder how long it took them to think that name up there. Blackpool Amusements, yeah. This used to be, well, it used to be Woolworths back in the olden days. When Woolworths moved out of the, the, uh, the original store, they moved into that building there. I think it was a Poundland last. But then we're going to head this way. This is Victoria Street. There's Harry Ramsden's on the corner. World famous fish and chips. What do you think to Harry Ramsden's? I've been in myself. I thought they were fairly average, actually. Myself. Just up here, we've got Boots. Boots has been there for, well, as long as I can remember. Oh, look, check this out. This is the old KFC, folks. And now it's been turned into a new... Uh, restaurant called the greedy pig well that that didn't take long did it um i was just looking at that the other day and it was all empty and there was no no clue whatsoever that that was being taken over but there you go there's a new restaurant in town and it's called the greedy pig and it's right there where the kfc used to be in the town center but there's the back of the black it was quite fancy actually in there We'll just have a little look inside. I've never been in properly, but I have been through just to do a little video. They're not really allowed to. They're a little bit funny about cameras, but here's a little look inside. There you go. It actually looks quite fancy, doesn't it? The Blackpool Amusement. And we're just behind... There you go, just behind the tower there. I've got to get the tower in, haven't we? I'm just going to head up this way towards the Winter Gardens up Victoria Street. We'll have a look around there. See if there's any punks around. Well, they've got the uh, Christmas lights up early on Victoria Street. Just up here is the is the western entrance to the Winter Coast. It's very, very grand. A big dome, and inside that dome is the Spanish Hall. Get in there and have a look around. I went in there and they did an open day, so you might want to check out my video, but. It does look like we've got quite a few people up here. Be, the concerts will be finishing fairly soon, I think, though, the gig, should I say. Yeah, just look at that. And I was saying in that video I did during the festival just the other day that we're so lucky to have the Winter Gardens because it's not the sort of venue that they would build these days. It just wouldn't be the same, would it? So... The, art, the architecture is absolutely amazing. 
but it does look like they're all sort of piling out of there now the punks piling out of the the winter gardens here we're just round the side of the Marks and Spencers this is the Marks and Spencers oh look at this here look B BBC oh it's packed packed in Blackpool for rebellion I can hear the, the drummer man is it Busker Joe I think it is Drummer Joe's got a, someone working for him. Look at this. Buster Joe, sorry. They're all getting down to Busking Joe. He's not the same guy I saw the other day. So, looks like he's got someone working for him, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But we're now just outside. This is like the main entrance to the Winter Gardens. St John Square. Got a few police out here, actually. Quite a few people sat outside as well. It's a good atmosphere in Blackpool tonight. This is how it looks outside the Winter Garden. Lots of taxis coming to pick people up. We've got quite a few people sitting out over here. Yeah, it's pretty lively in Blackpool tonight for all their rebellion. There you go. Anyway, let's head this way, past the Vintro Lounge. Let's head down this way, shall we? Abingdon Street. And when we turn left, down Burley Street. Someone's got a massive dog over there. Look at that. Wow. I don't think I could afford to feed something like that. Let's head down here, shall we? Burley Street. Screaming shake. By the way, I think the crit has moved upstairs. The crit. The shop next door, that's empty, but it's moved upstairs there, somebody told me. It hasn't uh, it hasn't closed down, but I'm just gonna head down here now. For the Rosen Crown. Let me know what you think of Burley Street with this. A lot of people don't like it. They think it's just a, a big waste of money. All this uh, big uh, construction here with the lights and the music. It does look pretty spectacular when it's going. It's getting a lot louder down here now. I'm coming down towards the Rosencrantz. This is where a lot of the punks collect as they host the rebellion in Blackpool. So I might need to be a bit careful because if the music gets picked up, it's uh, YouTube take all the money at me, which is a bit naughty. Anyway, let's check out the. Uh, Rose and Crown, it's buzzing. So here we are. Have they got a band on there? This is the Rose and Crown. They host the rebellion. Every year, I can hear music in there. It's really loud. Oh, 
this. Wow. So there you go, folks. How about that? That's how it looks in Blackpool on a Saturday night. Jury Rebellion. I'm not finished yet, though. We're going to head down here to up towards the promenade. We're going to head through. Wish me luck, folks. It's uh, it's a bit mental down here. Let's see if we can get through. Past Brannigan's. Past Nobby's Bar. Oh, listen to that music. Sorry, got to give you one last look at the tower before we head this way. It's actually not too bad. Sometimes you come down here and you can't even move for people. Nobby's bar. Oh, I made it. I made it. And over there is shenanigans. Shenanigans. Gotta get shenanigans in, haven't we? There you go. Shenanigans for you. This is how it looked in Blackpool on a Saturday night. Rebellion. Glasses. So there you go, that was a little look at Blackpool Town Centre on a Saturday night during the Rebellion Festival. It's day three today, yeah. Bit of a wet day today, but uh, the busiest day as well, I'd say, for the festival. Anyway, what do you think, folks? Uh, pretty lively in the town centre, helped a bit by all those people coming for the Rebellion Festival. And uh, here's a little look at the tower again. Just behind me, we've got a pretty amazing sky out there. We saw the sunset on my live stream, so check that out if you want to see that. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again on the next one.